Manners. What a f***ing concept. Hi guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Taylor Scott and welcome back to my channel. And this is different. <laughs> Over the summer, um, I did a workshop and I met some really talented and funny people and we got to talking about catchphrases. Back in the day, my phrase was, oh snap, because I thought I was Raven Simone, but I think she was the only one who could really do that and make it okay. Everybody has phrases that kind of come and go, and at the time my phrase was, what a concept. Oh, disclaimer, I swear now. I... I'm sorry. So I really want to talk about in this segment is manners and how obvious it is to just have them. In my opinion, I had pretty great parents who raised me well. And they taught me, of course, all the basics, like please and thank you, opening doors for people, helping people with bags, and you know, there's that golden rule, and I'm not just saying that because I was a Catholic child, because I will forever be a Catholic child. If you want to be treated nicely, then just treat other people nicely. It's pretty easy to do. I find it to be really hard to be rude. So I actually want to tell some stories that I've encountered while living here, and, and you know, talk about some of the obvious <laughs> that I think people should have, because it's <laughs> obvious. So the first story is actually, the same situation, just like t with two different people and how they reacted differently. Bumping into someone. It happens all the time, especially in New York City because there's tons of people and not enough room for everyone. I was on the subway, a man like slammed into me hardcore, I almost fell over. And my instinct, which I said, was, oh I'm so sorry. And in this particular situation it wasn't my fault. I don't know what was going through his mind or what side of the bed he woke up on that morning. But he turned around and he goes, Watch where you're going. First of all, my reaction was, do people really say that? Like, <laughs> I thought that was just a movie line. The second thing that I thought was, oh my god, that was so mean. Like, why did he say that? The second part of that story is, like, basically the exact same scenario, except this time it was my fault. I was grocery shopping. Sometimes I go to Fairway, which if any of you New York children are watching, you know that that place can be bad <laughs> crazy. There's just a lot of people and not a lot of space. And I was trying to get somewhere and I totally whacked into this woman's um, like shopping basket that she had on her arm. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And she turned around and looked at me and she says, wow, you, you said sorry, like, thank you. Like, gosh, your mother raised you right. And I said, you're welcome. Part of it like kind of made me laugh that she was so shocked, but she was like, genuinely surprised that I was saying sorry. Like, why? Why do we have to be surprised about that? Common sense is to just say sorry when you mess up, especially when it's your fault. But it was such a big deal to her and that made me question like, what is the world doing? Why are we not choosing to just be nice? I have two more stories that are totally different. The second one was a little scarier. I was leaving an audition, walking home, and I was walking with a friend, and I had some man come up behind me, I did not see his face, and he came up right behind me and he whispered in my ear, the things I would do to you. And then walked off. That genuinely was quite scary, and I'm glad that he left because I don't know what he would have done if he had stayed or what he would have done if I had said anything. I don't know what man goes, oh, you looking good, and then the girl goes, oh my god, I feel like such a princess, take me back to your castle so we can get married. Maybe he wasn't playing with the full deck, maybe he didn't get a lot of sleep that night, maybe he needs a girlfriend badly. That's a situation where I wish people would like use their brain more, you know, like think before you say something. I can never consciously sit there and go, I would say that to someone. So like, that's a time when I think the manners there should have been there and they were not. The last story is probably like the weirdest like encounter I've ever had with an, a, a proper adult. Technically, I'm an adult, but I don't feel like a, an adult. Adulting is hard. This guy was definitely like 35, so I'm confused. I dog walk and sit part-time, which is literally one of the best part-time jobs I've ever had. And I had um, an hour gap where I had time to just like hang out and I really had to use the restroom. So I just went into a local bakery, asked where the bathroom is, they told me, and I said, great. The way this room is set up is that there are, you know, two long tables, or people at the tables, and then over here there was a man talking to a woman who worked there. I guess you call her a baker? A waitress? I don't know. Let's just call her bakeress for now. No, that's weird. I'm not gonna, I'm not funny. Then over here was the door to the bathroom. I walk up and I go to knock because I want to make sure no one's in there. And this man behind me goes, are you kidding me? And I turn around and I said, I'm sorry? And he says, are you kidding me? I was kind of standing there confused because I didn't understand what was going on. And I said, I'm I'm sorry, I really don't understand. This is ridiculous. And he turns to the, the baker, who he was just talking to, and he goes, does this happen 
all the time because this is ridiculous like the fact that people just cut in line like I can't believe you just did that like that's so rude this is getting out of hand really fast and people were starting to look and I said look sorry I'm really sorry I really didn't know you were in line like that's totally my bad like you're more than welcome to go first and then he said this this is absolutely ridiculous and the amount of entitlement from you is absurd what does someone say to that first of all I know I look 12 on a good day like 16 okay that does make me look young but that doesn't give you the right to speak to me like that especially if it was just simply an accident people like to cause drama sometimes and I maybe he was going through a bad breakup maybe he just really needed his coffee I don't know it was probably something way worse than just being not caffeinated and I said sir Look, this was an accident. I'm really, really sorry. I did not mean to cut you in line. I didn't even know you were in line. That's just my bad for not asking you. And then I said, but you know what? You could have said that in a much nicer tone. And he rolled his eyes and he walked into the bathroom as the person in front of him left. So he goes to leave and I say, hey, sir, I'm really sorry. You know, I hope you have a better day. And he goes, mm hmm and walks away from me. <laughs> Part of me wants to justify all of this behavior and say, you know, they're going through hard times, they're having a bad day, they lost someone, their cat died, I don't know. There's a lot of things that can contribute to why people are mean. Bad stuff happens and it's terrible. Find someone to talk to about it, it's really, really important. Why not just choose to have manners and be polite and respectful toward other people, people you don't even know. Anyway, those are my stories about manners. I'm trying not to make them too ranty because I don't want to be a negative human. I just want to put some comedy into unfortunate situations. And I think manners are something that we need to keep around and learn and teach to other people. And I'm sorry if I'm preaching. I don't mean it. I just think manners are kind of important. All right, well, that's it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other viewers see it and share it with their friends and things like that. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do. I also try and do um, other like cover type videos. In the meantime, I'm just auditioning, so sorry this has been sparse. Um, but let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Banners. Banners? That's not what I said. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Whoa, my hand looks huge in the viewfinder. Okay. Siren, I understand. You're important. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going crazy. Okay. Are we done? Mm. Excuse me, my word. Why you no fleek hair? I want my family to be watching this. It's not that bad.